Now we want to show you how to properly move the C-arm in and out and end up in the same place. The classic part of this whole story is that I just learned this trick last year and I've been a radiographer for well over 35 years. So I don't know how long people in my department already knew about this, but when I found out about it, it was like a life changer. And the reason is, is that normally, if the, you know, the surgeon says, okay, back out, and you back straight out, when you go back in again, you never end up in the same places where you started. But the trick is, you turn the, the, the tire, the wheels, just a little bit, maybe a 20 to 30 degree turn, and now, instead of going straight out, you're going at that angle, and the way the whole wheels track, you'll end up in the same place. So, we have two pieces of tape on the floor, one of them is just parallel with the table, and that'll be for the one where we just go back, come back in again like we always we did in the old days. And then the other tape has got about that 20 degree, maybe 30 degree angle to it, and that'll be the one where we'll go out and come back in and show you how much better it works. So, right now, I'm gonna go ahead and just uh, x-ray this thorax one more time just to make sure that we're where we uh, started. And as you can see, there's just like maybe a finger's worth of, uh, of x-ray, you know, open scatter above the top rib. So now I'm going to go ahead and just back out about, well, let's unlock first. We're not going to go anywhere. Backing out. Got a foot. Okay, now we'll come back in again. You can even see this whole thing just wobbling. And I go right back on the tape. I'll go ahead and lock it down, just make sure we're not moving. And then I'm going to actually move the uh, image over to the other screen so that we can just see, you know, where we were. And now we'll go ahead and x-ray again. And you can see how off that is. And we're off by a good three inches, which is obviously a nightmare when somebody is, you know, wanting you to center right over a body part. And now you're three inches off. And now you're wig wagging and scrambling and trying to get this thing back. And he's wondering, why didn't you just come back to where you started? Well, you can't because the equipment won't allow it. So... Now I'm going to go ahead and turn the tires that little bit of 20 to 30 degrees. And you can see right here that we have just that, you know, right up at that top rib. And I'm going to go ahead and now turn the wheel so that it's at that 20 to 30 degree angle. And so now we'll go ahead and back up at that angle. So here we are backing out. And now I'm just going to go ahead and go back, back in. And we'll stop right where we were. I'm going to go ahead and send that image over to the other monitor. And then here we go right now and make the new exposure. And you can see that we're almost exactly perfect right where we started. So it just is amazing how that is the way to do it. Anytime you're going to back out, back out at that angle and don't go straight out.